Hey guys, this is Simranjit here, and uh, today I'm uh, going to install a SSD. This is a M.2 type SSD. This goes into the M.2 slot, and uh, you can see the model number here. This is the XPG SX8200 Pro. Uh, this SSD has pretty decent speeds, and uh, the M.2 is right here. You can see in middle of the fan, the processor fan and the graphic card. So right now you can see we don't have much space in here to install the SSD. So uh, either we have to remove this or this, the GPU or the uh, the system fan, uh, I mean the processor fan. So I will be removing the graphic card here because that is just easier and then we will be installing the SSD. So let's uh, just do that and uh, I'll get right into it. So straight away the first hurdle that I came across is uh, this one. So if I want to, I can just install the SSD here. I, I think I have enough space. But the problem I ran into, you can see, I cannot screw this SSD in here. Because the problem is, uh, you can say this is a nut that is in here to screw the SSD. But I have to move this nut here on this uh, space that is in there in the SSD to screw the SSD in place. Okay and I have just removed the graphic card and I've just realized that you can just unscrew this nut, this screw or nut. You can just take it off and uh, screw this small nut in the next hole. Okay and now you can see the screw or you can say the nut is in place right here and now you can install the SSD. Before installing the SSD, I will be installing this uh, heatsink on the SSD so it can stay cool. And this heatsink is supplied with the SSD. This is not an additional thing I have bought. This has been supplied with the SSD. Okay, and uh, I have installed the heatsink. And all we have to do now is uh, install the SSD in here. Like this. and screw it in place and you will not get the screw uh, in the SSD box for this SSD uh, you will have the screw in your motherboard box like this this is a this is a very small screw so you will get the screw in your motherboard box not in the SSD box okay and uh, you can see the SSD is in place and you don't have to screw it like really hard because this is a small SSD and uh, you don't need that much torque here. And for this form factor, this is a ITX board. It was pretty easy to install the SSD. I mean, you don't have to find the M.2 slot. This is straight up here in, in front of you. But if you have like some pre-built case, then you may have to find the M.2 M slot. This is a small slot here. Uh, you will find similar thing in any of the laptop or maybe computer. You just have to find it and then you can install the SSD. And let's now test the SSD. Let's go. Okay, so now I have put it into the system and uh, now let's see if the SSD shows up. Uh, this PC. Okay, and you can see it uh, doesn't show up. And uh, there is one thing that we have to do here. If we go to this PC, I mean just right click and uh, go to manage storage disk management and here you can see it shows that there is a disk 2 and that is an unallocated disk here you can see right here you can see this is an unallocated disk and you just have to click ok gpt it's a gpt format that we have to uh, select here and if we click ok now you may have the drive okay it is still unallocated okay and you have to right click here and uh, click on new simple volume here click next and we need the full size of this disk so it is by default the full size click next okay and it shows like what uh, letter you want to assign to this disk so right now it's see i just uh, I'll leave it E for now, I will be changing that later on and uh, click next. 
okay and it says format this volume uh, format this volume with the following settings uh, you can uh, uh, do that that's not a problem it, it is an empty drive anyway so i think uh, for compatibility reasons you, you can do that and i will click next and finish okay and if we look here now oh I, we still don't have it oh it is formatting right now okay so you can see a new volume e has been added and uh, let's see here yes and you can see here is the drive and uh, this is a one terabyte drive and we do uh, we have the full space here and I will be running some tests here to see if uh, it delivers the full speed okay and here is the crystal disk mark I will be testing the speeds with uh, this software and let's see what the speeds we can get from this drive so this is the drive E Okay, and you can see the test is done and uh, you can see the speeds are really good for this SSD. Uh, they say that uh, it can reach a speed up to 3500 megabytes for the read and it is over 3500 here. And for the write they say it can reach a speed of 3000 but it is over 3000. This is like 3200 for the write speeds. I think this is it for today if you like this video then hit the like button and if you have any questions then you can just uh, comment below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.